It's that time again, another update for the BlackBerry Preve. It's incredible. They put out an update every single month and sometimes twice a month. So let's look and see what we've got here. 9.26 p.m. right now. Normally these take about 30 minutes to 45 minutes. This is a monthly update instead of a security update, so this is probably going to take a good 45 minutes or more. So let me write down the time, 9.27, and we're at 93% battery. And I'm going to click the download. This is the typical screen that we get for an update on the BlackBerry Prev Android, where they tell you what's being done. It's 103 meg, which is really not that big, so this might just be a little security update and not a full update for the OS and it has details of what they are going to update. So let me check that before I start the download, which would be down here. Let me go find out what they want, what they're going to do. And then we have the BlackBerry Security Incident Response Team helping you to protect your phone. Let's find out what's happening now. I am going to do the download right now, or the update. 935, 92%. And while this is going on, I'm going to be reading to you what this security update, it's not an OS update, that's why it's a small one. I'm going to let you know what the security update will be doing for the September 6, 2016 update. So hold on a minute. Most of this won't matter to anybody, but just so you have an idea, they are doing a fix on the remote code execution vulnerability in lib utilities that could enable an attacker using a specially crafted file to execute arbitrary code in the context of a privilege process. They are working on a remote code execution vulnerability in media server that can cause memory corruption during media file and data processing. They are fixing a remote code execution in media muxer that could enable attackers using a specially crafted code in the context of an unprivileged process. They are working on elevation of privilege vulnerabilities in media server that could enable a local malicious application to execute arbitrary code within the context of a privileged process. Okay, we are at 937, 90%, and it already wants me to reboot, which I'm going to do now, so that it can do the reboot and the install. Rather than read all of this, which is going to take forever, Elevation of Privileges Vulnerability in Media Server, Elevation of Privilege Vulnerability in Device Boot, Denial of Service Vulnerabilities in Media Server. All of these allow your, your phone to be attacked. Elevation of Privilege Vulnerability in Telephony. Elevation of Privilege Vulnerability in Notification Manager Service. Elevation of Privilege Vulnerability in Debugged. Elevation of Privilege Vulnerability in SMU. SMS, in Settings, in Java Debug Wire Protocol, Information Disclosure Vulnerability in Media Server, again allowing your phone to be attacked, Information Disclosure Vulnerability in Wi-Fi, Denial of Service Vulnerability in Telephony, Elevation of Privilege Vulnerability in Kernel Security Subsystems, Elevation of Privilege Vulnerability in Kernel Network Subsystem, Elevation of Privilege Vulnerability in Kernel NetFilter Subsystem, in Kernel USB Driver, in Kernel ASN1 Decoder, in Qualcomm Radio Interference Layer, in Qualcomm Subsystem Driver, in Kernel Networking Driver, in Synaptics, touchscreen driver, in Qualcomm camera driver, in Qualcomm sound driver, in Qualcomm IPA driver, in Qualcomm power driver, in broadband Wi-Fi driver, in kernel eCrypt TFS file system, denial of service vulnerability in kernel X4 file system, 
the phone is still doing its regular updates. If you've watched my other videos, you know, you'll get this message, installing system updates, and that normally takes, you can see the blue line over there, that normally takes about uh, 10 to 15 minutes, so I will continue letting you know what the update is all about, even though that's going really fast. Information Disclosure Vulnerability in Qualcomm SPMI Driver in Kernel Networking Subsystem Elevation of Privilege Vulnerability in Qualcomm Components So all of these allow your cell phone to be attacked and that is what this uh, security update is all about to avoid all of that so back to the screen so we can watch the phone do the update. The update is always pushed first to shop BlackBerry phones where you buy directly from BlackBerry or Amazon phones or factory unlocked phones. That is the advantage of buying your own phone directly from BlackBerry, especially if you can get it on sale and then you set it up on your carrier. If you bought the phone from a carrier, then your updates are dependent on when they want to put out the updates, and there's really no way around that. We're at 942 right now, so this update has been going for about 13 minutes, and where are we at? Almost finished. Oh, I see a little bit of dirt on the screen over there. I wonder where that came from. No more dirt. I love this phone. This phone is incredible. Try to buy from Shop Blackberry if you can. Get it on a discount. They just came out with the DTEC 50, which I believe is not as expensive. Oh, there are some scratches in there. Maybe I do have some scratches on my phone. So we're just plugging along, waiting for the update to finish. I try to zoom out so you don't have to look at all that dust and all the scratches. Now it wants me to put in the uh, my pin, and then it does the update. Normally after that it wants me to put the pin in again. I think this is going to be much quicker than most of the updates, most of the monthly updates, the security updates. I don't know, I believe that we're going to get the next version of Android coming out. BlackBerry will probably push it out way before any of the other Android providers do. But I don't know when it's going to be coming out on the Priv, the Priv, the DTEC 50. If it is, but it probably will be. If they want to keep a happy base, they're going to put it out on this phone. So that screen comes up and then it normally goes through, there you go, goes through this thing which takes forever, or it upgrades everything. One thing you should remember, one thing you should know, after you do these updates, your OS is going to be updating things over the next couple of hours or the next couple of days. They let you know that. They don't really broadcast that, but that info is available. It takes a while for everything to upgrade, all the apps to upgrade, and for the phone to be working the way it should be. So they push the security update, and then you might have some problems. I've never had any problems, but it does take a while for all this stuff to kick in and work the way it should. So if you have some problems, hang in there. Give it some time. This is going to take, it usually takes about 10-15 minutes. So I'm going to shut off the recorder. But right now we are at, okay, things are going faster than I thought. We're at 946 right now. And I started at 935, so this is only 11 minutes. I can't tell you how much battery this is used.
but it's usually significant. With me, it's normally about 20%. And almost always the phone gets really hot. This is in a case, so that doesn't help. It is sitting on a table, so there's really no circulation of air. The back of the phone, the CPU in the back of this phone usually gets pretty warm. Yeah, it's, it's not that bad. So we're just cranking along at 9 out of 38. Let me turn off the camera. If you like my videos, do a thumbs up, subscribe, like. Some of them, some of them are really cool, some are boring. I know that. If you want to go to my channel page and click on support button, and leave some uh, ka-ching in there, that would be cool. And if you don't want to, that's okay too. I'll still make the videos. We are at 9.52. So we're about uh, 17 minutes into this. Optimizing at 21 out of 38. 20 minutes into the update process. And I am almost done. Usually the last uh, 10 or so goes really fast. Especially the last, after 30, it goes really quick. When I did an OS update, for some reason it went into the 40s. I don't know why. Now it only seems to go up to 38. It might have something to do with uh, the apps that I deleted, but this is strictly working on the OS, so that would make no sense. So I will assume that they just cut down uh, the amount of modules that they have to optimize when they do this. We're moving along, almost there. Woo, woo! 28 out of 38. 23 minutes. So it seems to be about 30 to 45 minutes to do a security update each month and somewhere around 45 minutes or longer to do an OS update. There we go, we just did 31, 32, 33, whoa, it's moving along. I don't know how long this video is going to be. I don't know if anybody watches these or if they watch it until the end, or if they just speed the thing up. There we go. I told you it speeds up in the 30s. Moving along. Two more to go, and then it should do the reboot, and then want me to put in the PIN number again. And then we'll find out how long the whole thing took, and how much battery power it used up. Almost there. Thirty-eight of thirty-eight. That was quick. There we go. Starting apps, preparing, finishing boot. Let's see what's going to happen here. There it goes, it wants the pin. And the pin just went in there. We are at 79% on the battery. I started off at 93%, 92%. We are at 10 p.m. on the clock. I started off at 9.35. So it took 25 minutes to do the update. The uh, security update and used a uh, nice chunk of battery power and that's it make sure you do a thumbs up a subscribe a like whatever you want to do or just keep coming back to watch these videos if you want to link it to any place that's cool I'm happy with that too 
All right, happy uh, Blackberry Preving to everybody. And remember, if you bought this from a carrier, there's a very good chance that you don't have the update. But if you want to check your about in the settings uh, wagon wheel, go check it and see if there's a security update waiting for you. That's it. Let's go down to about phone and see what we've got here. Android 6.0.1. Security level September 6th, that's the one that I told you we were putting in. Build number AG, AAG191, I think that is what I uh, had last time, so I don't believe it changed the build number, but it did change the security patch level.